Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance, likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. I'm struggling to understand how judging you can make up for anything that happened. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear not just Corypheus, but Taventa, rightful ruler of every piece of ground ye trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Since death is a validation for you, I will delay it. Lord Livius Eremond of Verantium, you'll spend the rest of your days in the deepest, darkest hole we can find. We shall see which of us outlives our legacy, Inquisitor. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the Headman's Axe. You were free to rejoin your comrades, and yet you present yourself here. There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes, as if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. Sir Ruth, I'm not a blade you can fall on to hide from your responsibilities. There's no shortage of ways a warden can die. Drag this deserter back to the Order. I can't do this anymore! I never asked for this! Now this is a hall worthy of the Inquisition. Would you have guessed such a pairing? No. I prefer a highborn scandal. This is much less enthralling. Did I ever tell you about the time Hawk was on a merchant guild hit list? <laughs> Hawk's uncle got into an investment scheme with a couple of merchant caste businessmen. They took a lot of people's coin in order to arrange the import of wandering hills from the Anderfels. A, a delicacy, I'm told. Their weird foreign foodstuffs arrived alive, and one of them, true to its name, wandered off in the middle of the night. <sighs> the guild uh, traced the shipments to Hawk's uncle, but as usual, he was so far in debt he couldn't see daylight. So, they went after Hawk instead. They sent guys from the local Carter to Hawk's estate one night. Five big dusters, armed to the teeth. They kick in the door, and Hawk yells, 
You're just in time. And drags them over to a game of wicked grace. They played two hands of cards before the city guard showed up to take them away. A couple of them became regulars in our weekly game. Oh, just had that effect on people. I, I always wanted to tell that one. Thanks. I guess I've got some letters to write. Carver should be told. Excuse me. <laughs>